How you doing? My name is Roger Clark. I am the Westminster Campus Tech Services Coordinator for Crossroads Church. And I wanted to take a few moments and share with you some thoughts on this week's sermon. Uh, on this week's sermon, I actually, the one thing that really stuck out to me was when Reed started the sermon, talking about the series, and the fact that he said that he tried to prepare everyone that there's going to be some things that make us uncomfortable. And that really stuck with me, uh, mainly because in in our society, it seems as though people say they want honesty until we have to tell them an uncomfortable truth. And then things go bad. Um, we've seen, you know, people get offended. They, uh, they take it personally. And the fact that the, we've said something that they, they just, the uncomfortable truth just doesn't, it doesn't set well. And as I thought about this, you know, Jesus said numerous times in the Bible, truly I tell you. Basically what he was saying is, this is the truth. And this is, it's going to be uncomfortable and you're probably not going to, it's probably not going to set well with you, but it's still the truth. And uh, so yet, and even... When he went to the cross, it was based on stuff that he said that went, part of it was he went against the establishment, if you will, right? It was the Pharisees and the Sadducees that he wasn't towing, quote unquote, the company line, if you will. And they had him crucified because of this. There was other stuff behind it, but really it was what he said it was one of the things so I'm one that I would, myself personally, I would rather hear an uncomfortable truth than a comfortable, like, I just don't, I would rather you tell me an uncomfortable truth than tell me uh, a, a comfortable falsehood. Uh Reed actually also followed that up in the post sermon by talking about um, he mentioned something about a, a somebody who's been a Christian for 20 years, but they're a first year Christian. They've just repeated it 20 times. And when I heard that, it just kind of reinforced the whole uncomfortable truth. Right. We talk about growing pains. Right. In order for us to grow, there's going to be some times where it's going to be uncomfortable. But just like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, you have to have that uncomfortable time in order to truly have the growth that you need. And in this situation, we're talking about a relationship with God and a relationship with Jesus. And we have, I just, I challenge you to embrace the uncomfortableness. uncomfortableness. Just like when, somebody's going through adolescence, they have growing pains, and it doesn't make them worse, it makes them better. Take that and and just when you feel that uncomfortableness, take it as a sign, not that somebody's saying something offensive, but that this is a chance for you to grow. And, and, and in the case of the sermon series, that it's a chance for you to have one more step closer to that relationship with God that I don't know about you, but I seek it every single day. So I hope that sheds some light. I hope it brings you some joy. I hope it brings you something to think about. Um, and always stay connected to Crossroads. God bless you.